you guessed it, it's moving day. And am I prepared? Not at all. Is my shop even clean? Not at all. Is it organized and ready to be packed into a truck? You guessed it. Not at all. <laughs> if you want to learn how to do stuff and not be prepared and be a total... Yeah, okay. Thankfully, last night, we realized that we were way in over our head. We called a moving company, and sure enough, they had a truck available today to move our house. So we got movers packing up the whole house, which is great. They're almost done, and they're going to head up island to take it to our rental. And I am left here to deal with this crater of a mess. And uh, so I think I might be making it up a little later. We're going to move a little later today because I've got thousands of pounds of equipment to move. Don't even have a pallet jack. I should probably go rent one of those. Um, that's just throw my pack out. It's way easier. Uh, what a forklift. A uh, forklift would be nice. And uh, then I got to strap it all down and pretend I know how to move things. And hopefully all my machines aren't upside down and broken by the time I get up to the to the new shop. And then we'll get to see the new shop. That's exciting. Kind of becoming an emptier shop ish. Still a lot of mess to clean up, but there's less and less tools, which means we're moving in the right direction. Forward progress. I have my sister's slave labor. She's probably done the most work <laughs> so far. But in classic De Geese fashion, we like to delegate to other people and then take responsibility for all the work that gets done. We did it all ourselves. <laughs> One box down. Progress.
Load one. Load one complete. It's deceiving, but let's hope that there isn't more than enough material to do two loads because we've only got the truck for tomorrow. So everything that's remaining has to fit in the next load. Oh, the drama. That's so intense. Stay I can't, tuned. I can't handle it. Another ad break. Come back. You gotta get like a deep narrator voice. <laughs> no one knows for sure if the samurai is gonna be able to make it in time. <laughs> Stay tuned next time. Hey, who are these guys? Who are these guys? These oh, judges. Hey, there you go, Mr. King. You're famous now. So I um, got my buddy's moving truck all loaded up with my shop tools and I think it was just too much weight for the truck because when I went to drive it, it was just shaking and rattling and I thought, you know what? I don't think the samurai wants to die with dying a moving truck going down a hill and having his brakes go out. I was like, you know what? If I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a little more class than that. So I just turned around and then I called the movers here to come back and uh, just transfer all this stuff out of the small truck into their big truck to take it up islands just because going up to through the to the town that we're staying in, um, there's kind of like a little mountain pass and some pretty serious downhill sections. So you definitely want to be in a, in a adequate vehicle, especially when you're hauling a lot of weight like this. So a little bit of a setback, but not a big deal. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take advantage of these strong backs while I got them here and load as much stuff onto my flat deck as well. Pile that up with wood out of the sea can and get a few more bits of furniture and stuff out. And then we're heading up to become... Yeah, then I'm saying goodbye to uh, my hometown where I was born and raised my whole life. Kind of crazy, big move. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, don't need to go up. There she is. Down, down, down. Here's the new workshop, guys. Definitely nice tall ceilings, 11 foot ceilings. And I don't know exact square footage, but it looks like it's about, I don't know, 25 by 30 deep. And then uh, stairs going up to the house there. And then there's a little bathroom in the back there, as well as this big rec room, which is going to be where uh, we set up the kids' kind of school, as well as a spare bed for guests. Uh, the big dining table doesn't fit upstairs. Um, so we're going to set up down here so the kids can do their school. and arts and crafts and have their Lego and all their toys down here so it doesn't clutter up the house, which is awesome. And then this will be my little, uh, my new dojo here. It's definitely gonna, I've only got one 220 plug, so I'm gonna have to probably uh, do some conduit on the outside maybe and try to add a few more plugs or just run an extension cord and just use my machines as I need them. Um, 
I don't want to set up a permanent shop here because I'm not going to be living here permanently. So I haven't quite decided how much uh, work I'm going to put into, you know, building benches and stuff here, but I will need some stuff like a chop saw stand or bench and, you know, in feet, out feet tables, that sort of stuff. But try to keep it as simple as possible.